they are not coming for VDM because they don't know the truth. They are coming for VDM because they want to silence him. Zubrisky never spoke to me. I have never met him. I do not know him from Adam. After watching this video, where Farah's father was explaining that he has never known about anybody like Bob. He has never had any transaction, any dealing with Bob. That Bob had a discussion with his son. First thing first, Bob told you all that the voice was fake. It was AI generated. Files came out with a publication where he asked VDM to retract his words and confirm that truly Bob called him. His father has also confirmed that Bob called him. So now you guys want to get to the end. You want to come for VDM who brought out the voice. I'm expecting you guys to go after the person who mentioned your name in the voice. The fact that everyone is confirming that they spoke with Bob means that that voice played by VDM is not fake. So why are you not going after the person who called your name boldly? Call the name of your son boldly. You have built your reputation. That is fine. But this case can make people look at you like, hmm, I don't want to go there. Allegedly, because that's the new national anthem. My question I'm asking is, why are you guys not going after Bob who mentioned your names? We were expecting everybody to say there is no special prison. Bob was a kirikiri. But look at all the people talking about it. They come to the same point what VDM is saying, which, which shows that they are not coming for VDM because they don't know the truth. They are coming for VDM because they want to silence him, because they don't want him to speak more. And the fear of the unknown, knowing fully well that VDM has more evidence. And you don't know who Bob spoke with apart from Fars. We don't know who Bob spoke with and some of these people might have sent more evidences to VDM. So dragging this whole thing is not going to help the case on the ground. I feel like you guys should go for Bobby who made mention of your family name. VDM only reacted and he said, I don't want to believe that you are involved in this. I refuse to accept that you are involved in this. Now your point now, you guys are saying you want VDM to apologize. What part of the apology are you guys expecting? For VDM to come out and say the voice was fake or for VDM to come out and say I apologize for playing the voice that Bobby made mention of your name or for VDM to come out and say Bobby made a mistake saying that you help him out of Kirikiri because you guys should make it make sense. We want to really understand why you guys are instead coming for the whistleblower instead of going to the parrot who went and spread the message not only to this is friend but so many other persons must be having concrete and strong evidence proofs to back what VDM is actually fighting for. Was Bob taken out of Kirikiri? The question is, yes, allegedly, because you all are affirming. You spoke, you affirm. The other man that went on Arise News, affirm. The voice, Bob affirm. Bob went on Bayou's podcast and could not answer, where were you, male or female? He was just there. It's deep, it's deep, it's deep. Something that is a straight answer. I was in the mail or I was in the women. Do you guys want people to start bringing all these videos back and forth? Face the person who made mention of your names in a voice. VDM is just a whistleblower. He should not be attacked. That's my point.
So I don't know about you guys. Let me know down there in the comment section. If you watch this video and you listen to the way he was speaking and you think you have something to say, let us know down there in the comment section. Chai! These people want to turn this thing like this. Turn it around.